when you're done with these exercise these exercises when lying in bed how do you get yourself to sleep after that i can't shut off my thinking after these things well you probably don't want to do activating meditations right before sleep and some meditations are activating i mean if i enter into a meditation where I'm running the visual, running the audio, running the vibe of the body, and I've got my screen up and I've got all, a bunch of cool stuff showing up on my screen. I'm going to get activated by that. I'm going to try and stay passive so I can be with it and not break the projector. But I'm also going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be into that. And so I'm going to be conscious of that. And being conscious and aware and awake is kind of the opposite of sliding off into sleep. So I might not want to do that particular technique before I go to sleep. I might want to do something just like getting into sats, getting into the trance light state and saying some affirmations or just priming myself before I go to sleep. We talk about this in dream week, saying certain things to yourself to prompt you to have certain experiences when you go to sleep. I might want to do something more gentle. Um, in fact, Neville Goddard has a lullaby technique. Oh, it's escaping me now. Let me look into it because it's basically just repeating affirmations, validations, or something representative of what you seek to manifest in your life, but in a rhythm and in an imaginal tone that also lulls you right into sleep. Because again, it's when you're asleep that the subconscious starts to get busy and starts to animate. And so if you can actually lull yourself, slide into sleep, but holding the lullaby of affirmations or that which you seek to manifest, well, then you imprint the subconscious much more deeply, causing it to act much more quickly. So you just have to, you just have to use a little bit of discernment here as you work through all the techniques. So it's about figuring out what works for you. And you know, sometimes just when you're in sats, when you're in the state akin to sleep, just feeling real good, or just having an image of something that represents something really delightful to you. Sometimes just saying in your mind, isn't it delightful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it delightful? Even if you're not specific about it, but you're feeling it too. Oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it so good? And going to sleep is enough feeling and thinking for your subconscious to get to work. And often the subconscious knows way better than you what it should animate in your life to make your life work for you because your subconscious knows what your blueprint is. So play around with it and let us know what works for you. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalancompton.com. See you there.